Hey guys, warm welcome back to the channel. I've got a couple things this week that I'm really wanting to get done before the flea market show this weekend. Um, I'm kind of always constantly torn between being that super extra person and like also wanting to be really laid back and relaxed. And I feel like sometimes they can go hand in hand, but sometimes they just don't. You're either extra or you're not. Uh, my booth is really extra. I, I feel like it is because when I look around at other people's things, that's just not taken quite as far most of the time, or at least not here anyway. And the whole banner thing and the, the arch and all that kind of stuff, I feel like it's a lot when I set it up, but when everybody else looks at it, they love it and they think it's great and I should do it. And that's all the feedback I got back on it. So naturally I'm going to do that, but I think I'm gonna take it a step further. So I have this really cute apron and I had like a, I had another one that it was kind of a test apron. I didn't love the material, but uh, like it wasn't true linen, it was almost more burlappy, and it just didn't take the iron on very well. And uh, since I have a Cricut, um, because my mother-in-law gave it to me, I kind of figured like, you know, why not use it for the business, not just for stuff around the house? Because I am a label crazy person and the Cricut is great for that, but you know, I have it. Vinyl doesn't cost a whole lot, and when I want to try something new, it's it's mine. I have it. It's here. It makes sense. Um, so one of the things I want to do is... Ooh, hang on. Oh, he left. I was going to show you a crow because <laughs> that's me. Um, but anyway, I have this really awesome... Uh, apron that I've wanted to be like... I want it to be really cute and really done up and just like for the business and like have it kind of be something people look for a little bit. I watched this guy once, uh, he does like wood cutting stuff and his whole shtick is like this crazy Hawaiian print shirt and this big bucket hat that matches. So people can notice him when he's at fairs, like if they've bought from him before, they recognize him. And I want my booth and my outfits and things like that to work the same way. Um, but I typically wear like a black t-shirt and jeans because it's super easy, it's comfortable, and you know, it's not, it's not so overdone that I have to then commit to that. Like, you know, I don't need a whole mushroom dress or anything because that's obviously not going to work for every single event that I do. But an apron makes sense because I'm an artist. And there are definitely shows that I would like to be able to do art while I'm there. Uh, but anyway, I think it's like a Home Depot situation. I don't really know. I thrifted it. Uh, it used to have like a little SCS or SGS or something tag here, but I took it off. Um, obviously, it's for like you know, hammers and all that kind of thing. And the bib part is pretty shallow. Like it doesn't completely cover my chest, but I just think it's super cute. I want to put a little something here. I want maybe mushrooms coming up out of the pockets. I just want something unique and interesting that obviously not everybody else is going to have. Uh, so I have a couple of ideas and I'm going to print them on the only iron on vinyl that I have right now and I hope it goes well because I don't have a huge selection here like I would in the States. Um, so here's my idea. So I have some of this um, flocked material but it's a little on the darker side to want to put on some linen. So this is actually, I made this with my friend Anna and this is actually exactly what it should look like because this is kind of like a brown rusty leather color which I love. Um, and then obviously the apron is kind of like this more linen fabric. Uh, so that's what this is. And I have a couple of ideas about what I might want to do. 
if I print all of them, like this would go on the pocket and maybe the frog and the beetles and the snail would just be kind of around the bottom part of it. And I think I'm going to add some mushrooms. I mean, I would always use them even if I don't end up putting them on the actual apron. But, and then I've also got like my name just in case I want to put it on something, maybe down the side of it. I don't really know yet. I just, this is the only piece that I have and I don't want to pre-cut it up because that can kind of cause problems for me sometimes. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I also have, sorry, I'm whipping y'all around, a bunch of different zines that I need to fold later. And then I'll splice in some of my, uh watercolor painting that I did uh, earlier since I don't do that like like live or whatever um, so yeah and then I the only other thing I would really like to have done before then besides getting like my change and all of that is I have a couple of signs that I'm going to put on foam core board uh, I already did one of them and it turned out great so I'm going to do a couple more just to have a little bit more structure and some sturdiness to it um, but yeah, so I'm gonna show you all my process of that now. Well, if you have a great eye for vinyl and have done it many more times than I have, then you probably noticed that that was cutting on the plastic side that should be face down. So I boogered the last piece that I had and now I'm gonna try and head out with a friend to the local arts and crafts store here on base and see if I can find some vinyl that I like to fix it. I did come up with like a little bitty version of what I wanted on a scrap piece, but it's not as big as I would like, and I would really, I would really like for it to stand out. I think the frog and the snail are fine, but I just think that that's a little on the small side. I really wanted it to almost fill this pocket. Uh, it'll work in a pinch, but we're gonna go see if they've got some vinyl that I like, and if they don't, then this is it. Until I can figure out something else, maybe. It is pretty permanent, though, so... Uh. Anyway, let's see if we can fix it. Okay, well, it almost drove me absolutely bonkers to get it done, but here it is. I think it's pretty cute considering everything that happened <laughs> in that color. Also, that little beetle's cute. Uh, yeah, you can see it on me after I do my event on Saturday. 
so the Monday video will have it. And eventually I'm going to add like some embroidery and some other little stuff to it to kind of make it super artsy and just fun and interesting and yeah. So if you haven't put vinyl on anything in a long time, heat transfer vinyl, I would recommend doing a refresher course off of YouTube so that you don't do what I did and put the plastic on right side up.